What's going on there, guys? Good evening. It is your Earthmaster here um, with my co hosts Missy Mimi's. What's up, guys? <laughs> Hanging out here, enjoying this beautiful evening. Uh, it is uh, Thursday evening, December 30th, 2021, about 6.55 p.m. California time. And the latest quake on the globe, a 3.7 out there around the Pecos, Texas area. Um, some earthquake activity showing up on the Northern California station. Kind of want to show you guys as it comes up around the bend here on the seismographs. Now I know USGS has reported some earthquake activity throughout the day in the Northern California area along the, uh, of course, the coast and North Coast. But we're watching some further activity come into the seismograph stations here. Uh, it's just right here on the Dinsmore station. See those earthquakes popping up there? Some microquakes or very distant larger quakes within the region there. Uh, some activity we've been watching here for oh, about half an hour or so, not being reported on the globe as you can see. We'll go ahead and check out on the USGS map as well. Let's go ahead and check this out real quick here. You can see on the map, not a whole lot being reported in the Northern California area at the moment. Although this activity did occur throughout the day today and some of it is pretty deep. We've seen a 2.6 earthquake at almost 30 kilometers below the surface there into the uh, Cascadia subduction zone down dip area as it dips underneath the North American plate here. Also some back building of pressure here along the Pacific plate uh, with a uh, 2.3. looks to be the latest earthquake at least on this map but as you could see on the seismograph definitely activity ramping up seismographs do not lie well they do lie unless they're uh, uh if they're improperly tuned yeah. but i've uh, been watching this station for a while and it kind of looks like it's uh tuned correctly what else we got going on here in the globe some activity kicking up here in southern california right around the uh, just west of the salton sea area around octello wells a 1.3 earthquake striking down there look at this earthquake here 0.7 at 14 kilometers. It's pretty that's, deep movement here. That's definitely deep for there. Ooh, into this area. plate area. San Jacinto <laughs> Fault Zone on the uh, east side of it looks like. Quite a few deep quakes down there going on right now. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of deep. We've seen a lot of deep movement in Southern California recently. And uh, not for sure how, how deep those faults go, but apparently they go uh, pretty deep. Some activity also picking up around the Palomar Observatory overnight and earlier today as well see a swarm of earthquakes uh, looks like about 11 11 or so in this vicinity uh, mainly microquakes at the moment those uh, ones are really interesting because they've been closed so yeah they've been yeah but what's going on down there who knows yeah who knows what's going on underneath the observatory maybe some secret science experiment <laughs> one thing i want to point out folks even though we're seeing quite a bit of earthquake activity into the north american continent here the states uh, for example, the movement in Texas right now uh, up through Oklahoma and the swarm of activity into the Sawtooth Fault System of Idaho. Uh, there's not a whole lot on the western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire either. And it's been that way for, well, kind of noticed that uh, throughout the day today and, and a little bit yesterday as well. Um, so something's, something's going to give here pretty soon. I don't know if it's going to be the uh, Japan area or the west coast. Uh, but a lot of these areas, they play that teeter-totter effect game. When this area is quiet, we get activity over here along the West Coast pretty significantly. And vice versa. But uh, that doesn't appear to be the case at the moment. It looks like we're just on a standstill. The majority of this activity here from, from um, yesterday in the Indonesia area and the Vanuatu area southward all earlier uh, today. It looks like we did have a 5.0 though in the uh, new Caldera, uh, Caledonia. Caledonia area. Let me spit it out, thank you. <laughs> um, 10 kilometers deep, pretty shallow earthquake within this region. But uh, overall, you know, you gotta look at the big picture of the plate dynamics here. And uh, if we don't see something starting here soon, I expect the uh, western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire to really ramp up. Um, in, due one, to in one place a note, um, for that teeter-totter effect, you guys, is Hawaii is not really moving today a whole lot. Like, a little bit, but not like it's been. Not like it's been. It's actually pretty lately. quiet. It's pretty quiet. Um, Southeast flank activity looks, uh, yeah, it looks kind of diminished. Only 20 earthquakes here 
on the southeast flank, and uh, that's pretty minimal. Even Lohi Sea Mount, a little bit of earthquake activity out there, a couple of small microquakes, but man, nothing like uh, we should normally see in this area. So uh, the question is, what, what's popping out there? This area of the Pacific Ring of Fire, or it's going to be the uh, west coast over here? Although Alaska, if you look up here in Alaska too, it's not super active uh, along the Aleutian Trench, kind of quiet up there as well. Only seen one little earthquake uh, over the day today. 25 kilometer deep uh, 3.2 earthquake in the Rat Islands, Aleutian Islands area. Uh, up north here, a little bit of movement. What did we have? Didn't we have almost a five pointer? That yeah. was that one you were talking about earlier. Yeah. 4.9 into the uh, subduction zone here, about 57 kilometers deep in that area. We could also see what we seen last time. Uh, last time we were kind of discussing um, this the, movement. The movement there and there. We've seen something we seen big. A eight point, was yeah, it 8 one. That's when that eight right pointer there. struck up here. So that you know, not we're not predicting quakes. We're not fear mongering, but it is something to note that if there is a lot of pressure on both sides, something could pop in the center. Um, n not necessarily a big quake, but something. So I mean, it's 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 noted to watch these all these areas in general. Um, with the lack of movement on the western part, um, because we really are at a standstill. It's gotten, look at South America here. It's pretty quiet. quiet. Pretty quiet down South America as well. Uh, just 4.9, 101.1 in the kilometer department, and uh, a little shallow earthquake there. 4.1 further down south, but overall, but it makes these areas wonder, here are pretty quiet. It makes you wonder too, because we've had a lot of large movement. We've had a lot, a lot of sevens in the last month. We've had a lot of six yeah, movement. Yeah, we've, we've had quite a bit. And hardly followed by much, if any, aftershock activity. It just dwindles off. Oh, you mean like, uh, for example, the 7.3 there yeah. uh, that struck in the Peru and, area? Yeah, and then there was a handful of aftershocks with that 7 we just had a couple days ago. Yeah, over so, in the uh, Indonesia area. They're still having still aftershocks. Having some, but it's dwindling nonetheless, it just seems. So, you know. It's just something to note, something to pay attention to, and just be prepared. So looking at the rest of the map here, some movement around the Indonesia area throughout the day, scattered activity, and also the Indian Ocean. We had a 4.7, uh, what is that? Um, Marigats? Marigats? Mar Maritius. Maritius? Mauritius? Are you sure? I hope so. <laughs> if I killed that, you guys, I apologize. Reunion. Re reunion. <laughs> Region. Wow, okay, that's kind of odd. Looks like Mauritius. Mar Mauritius, that's probably right. Yeah. You're probably, yeah. You're probably right. I probably would have slaughtered it even more, but it's all good. 5.7 down here in the South Sandwich Islands earlier. Way earlier this morning. Um, overall, though, things pretty quiet down in the south part. We did see a North Atlantic Ocean up here. Earthquake. Um, that one was. When was that? That was pretty it's recent. It's, it's pretty recent. Yeah, it's, that was within the uh, last couple hours or so. 5.0. Yeah, because you way up there. Time, it's, it's saying tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, a pretty, pretty recent, recent earthquake. The East Coast. A uh, little microquake activity here in the South Carolina region. 2.4. Um, still popping off there, I guess, in eastern part of the country. Looking at the all magnitudes there, you can see a little swarm of movement uh, north of uh, northeast of Columbia, uh, Dinsville area. Line of activity kicking up there over the last uh, couple days, we shaking were, things up. We were looking at some quakes last night that are happening. Um, six was it six point oh plus um, over the course of four oh yeah, some quite a few years and yeah, there was quite a bit back east. There's definitely been some earthquake movement um, throughout time in this area. I'm not going to pull up that map right now, but... Uh, but it was definitely interesting to see, yeah. like, certain areas. A lot of people think, well, we're, you know, we're safe out here on the East Coast. We just got to worry about snowstorms and maybe some hurricanes. But, uh, you know, earthquakes can happen pretty much anywhere out here. Uh, don't ever let your guard down when it comes to earthquake activity, because when you do, that's when things tend to happen. So, um, you know, as a lot of the folks out in Oklahoma, Kansas area know, and uh, out in South Carolina know, 
uh, Indiana. Of course, the invisible earthquake that happened there a couple days ago. The phantom earthquake never happened. Yeah. Still don't know who sent out that notification on a 6.1 in Indiana, but uh, it definitely did not happen. The seismographs there in Yellowstone did not show it. Uh, so Yellowstone, about as dead as can be. There's not a whole lot going on at, at all. I mean, it's... Are we are we turning into Mars or what? You know, lack of, lack of what's what's a moon phase tonight? Um. Because I believe I strongly believe the moon and the sun solar weather activity plays a major part on the uh, uh, the uh, tectonics here on Earth and weather. I'm curious because I it's I don't think it's been coming up. EMSC map here shows a 4.7 once again, or a 4.5 in the uh, Indonesia area. All earthquake activity on this map appearing also on the USGS map. So uh, no shady stuff going on from the USGS at the moment. Um, so just kind of waiting on the waiting on the activity to really ramp up. So the moon phase tonight is a waning crescent. So we have what's well, a, a percentage? Um, well, we have a new moon on the. January 2nd. So, so we're almost, what are we at like? We're, it's, it's like, it's getting. 5%? What's our percentage? Um, let's see. Percentage. It should show it along there. 15% right now. 15% moon phase. There we go. Is the uh, current state. So, I don't know. I mean, are we further away from the moon or closer to the moon right now? The moon distance. See, that's what we got to pay attention to and see if that uh, has a relation to earthquake activity out here. So does super moons. But then again, we've had tons of super moons, right? When, they're, when the uh, moon's super close to the earth mm -hmm. and not a big earthquake yeah. uh, days before or days after. So I'm it, it's hard to say. I'm wondering if the sun plays more of a part. Well, of I've seen sunspot activity really ramp up as well and have no... no Activity. Hardly no effect, but what, are, what about solar eclipses? Yeah, I don't believe in that. Um, is that like I don't know? We'd have to go back and look at solar eclipse days and if what's happened on those around days. the earthquakes. Yeah, yeah, we can do that on another time. Yeah, that's something See, we could delve into. Would be pretty crazy though if that <laughs> did play a part. Hey. Sunspot activity currently diminishing and dying, just like the earthquake activity. I don't know if that's just a coincidence or not, but uh, it is what it is. 2916, about the only uh, feasible threat at the moment. And even at that, it's very minor looking at the solar flare threat. Uh, looking at the KP indexes here, pretty quiet. They're in the higher latitudes, not a whole lot going on at all. The, uh, it just, it's it's pretty, uh, pretty calm. Even coronal holes out here are pretty uh, small and facing away from the Earth behind it. A whole lot of boringness mm -hmm. so we'll see what happens here uh, i guess in the coming weeks if anything changes and tremor map How is that tonight? what do we got in the tremor map let's go ahead and check that out real quick we do have a little bit of movement along the uh cascadia subduction zone that could explain the activity we've seen in northern california today let's go ahead and go over here to the uh, northern california map where we did see a little bit of activity here in the Cascadia zone, southern end, as we mentioned. That could explain the, uh, oh, where's the trimmer at again? Trimmer right here. This could potentially explain the activity we've seen building up back over here upstream. This here is the down dip area. The uh, further, further inland, at least on this map, the further down dip you go into the subduction zone, uh, if that makes sense. I'm still trying to figure out a... Uh, a whiteboard effect here for my show. I'm having some issues with it, so uh, we'll get to that a little bit later. But uh, yeah, a little bit of activity, a little bit of tremor. Seven or uh, 54 earthquakes or epicenters, I should say. I don't want to call them earthquakes, but slow slip tremor uh, throughout the day today. Here's the M Energy um, equivalent here. Not a whole lot of big ones, but uh, there was a little period. Looks like a couple hours back to back there of some trimmer activity along the Cascadia. Uh, what else we got here? Montana, let's check out this region up here. Uh, actually, Seattle looks pretty, uh, eh, doesn't look too bad tonight. There's the earthquake activity in Idaho, ramping up, a couple twos and whatnot. Uh, way out here in Wyoming, I did not see this earthquake here. Buffalo, Wyoming, 2.7, way out there. 
uh, just east of the uh, Bighorn Mountains area. Five kilometer depth for that earthquake. I'm not 100% certain of what's out here for the satellite view, but as always, I kind of like to zoom in and see what we have cooking out here. And uh, no fracking wells, no who knows what's going on up there. Could be someone bugging out and uh, just kind of <laughs> dig <laughs> digging a deep cave. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, let's see what else we got. I think that's about it. I'm going to hang out here with Missy Mimi's. We did uh, we did go up to the snow today. We skipped out on the Interstate 80 Truckee Donner Summit trip uh, due to, I'm sure, hordes of traffic up there. I can't stand traffic, and there was just uh, it was kind of a weighing option. Do I, do I go up to the snow um, in a little bit more quieter area? So we, we, we struck with... Uh, we, Mount Lassen area in Northern California. Got some awesome shots of Mount Lassen. They are posted up on the uh, uh, Earthmaster page. I'll post them up here on YouTube as well. Um, so go check that out. Had about, uh, I don't know, at least seven to eight feet of snow at uh, Mount Lassen area. I couldn't even get into Mount Lassen Park because there was so much snow, uh, but it's closed due to the, those conditions. But around the town of Chester, they had... Uh, Oh, I don't know, probably a good four feet, maybe three or four feet of snow, yeah. somewhere around there. And uh, it was pretty cool to see a lot, a lot of snow up there in the mountains, and that's good news here for California. So, All right, guys, we're going to jump off here. Have a great night. Please stay safe out there, and uh, don't let this little quiet spell fool you. Like I say, there's a couple regions to watch right now uh, with the uh, quietness on the west coast and also the quietness here along the eastern or the western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. Uh, and Hawaii pretty quiet. Uh, it's it's something's popping up here. Something's going to be popping here pretty soon. So just be on guard. We will chat you guys a little bit later. Stay safe out there, everyone. Have a good night, guys.